Good morning everyone! Today I'll be sharing my morning skincare routine. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and press the notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. I just got out of the shower so my face is completely clean and in the shower I used Cetaphil's Gentle Skin Cleanser. Today I'm using the one for all skin types but I often switch between this one and the one for oily skin. I like the whole Cetaphil cleanser range because it's super gentle, it never makes me break out, and it never leaves my skin feeling tight or dry. Next up is my toner, and for the past 6 months or so, I've been using the Hada Labo Shirojun Arbutin Lotion. Wow, I've never had to say that entire name out loud, it's kind of a mouthful. <laughs> the whole Hada Labo Shirojun line was created specifically to brighten and hydrate the skin, and I love it because not only is it extremely, extremely hydrating, but it also contains Arbutin, which is an ingredient that helps to lighten acne scars and any dark spots or pigmentation. My favorite way to use it is by pouring some of it into my palm then gently patting it all over my skin. Uh, fair warning, you're gonna see a lot of patting, that's just how I apply my skincare products. Okay, so after the toner has been absorbed, I apply my ampule. And I've been using the Maison Snail Repair Intensive Ampule. I use a whole dropper's worth and spread it around my face. I bought this because 80% of the formula is snail filtrate, and snail mucin is extremely sought after for its ability to reduce fine lines, acne scars, and pigmentation. I've used it for I'd say 3 or 4 months now, and I like it, but I don't love it because while it does leave my skin soft and hydrated, I haven't really seen a reduction in fine lines, so I wouldn't repurchase it for its anti-aging claims, but I would if I was just looking for an extra layer of hydration. Next is moisturizer. I always use the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer in all of my skincare routines, and I've been using it for years. It's also another one of my holy grail products. Since this one comes in a tub, I use a Q-tip to pick up some of the moisturizer, and I do this for any of my products that come in this type of packaging because it's just more hygienic than using my fingers. This moisturizer is one of my holy grail products because it's just very reliable. It's great for all skin types, it always leaves my skin hydrated and soft, it's never made me break out, and it's really really easy to find in stores. I apply a pretty generous amount on my face then gently spread it around and tap away until it's absorbed. And for the last step is eye cream. I use the Maison Snail Repair Eye Cream and I just scoop out a pea sized amount with a q-tip and apply it under my eyes, my mouth, and my forehead. This eye cream also contains a bunch of star ingredients like 80% snail mucin, meadow foam sea oil, and niacinamide. I've also been using this for again about 3 or 4 months. I started using it on the same day that I started using the ampule. And while it's great for hydration, I haven't seen a reduction in fine lines, so this one I will not be repurchasing. I like to use my ring finger to work the product around my eyes because I've read that it's the gentlest of all fingers. Not sure if it's true, but I'm up for trying anything obviously since I put snail, snail slime on my face. Anyway, that's it for my skincare routine. After this, I just put on my makeup and go on with my day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know below what your favorite skincare products are at the moment and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!